I went through my divorce, I said, this time, I'm going to pray for the type of man that I should have. And, and God answered my prayers. So when you pray to God and he grants you the desire that you are praying for, people are usually happy and excited. However, when it does not work out, people tend to blame God, you know, why did you let this happen? But if you pray to God and he answered your prayer, that means God did his part. We also have a part in that thing that we wanted. Did you do your part? And this is where a lot of people go wrong is that they pray for something, but however, they do not prepare themselves. They do not get the knowledge and the wisdom to in order to keep what they were praying for. They do not surround themselves with people that may have more knowledge than them, listen to them and apply what those people give, the advice those people give them. People don't usually do that. So we are going to take a look at the, the ending of Richard and Tina, well, Richard Lawson and Tina Mills' marriage. Hey, it's your sister Roland. All I need is a few minutes. So it was announced that Tina Knowles filed for divorce from her husband, Richard Lawson. And if you heard from the snippet where she said that, you know, this time around, she prayed to God and she did not actually go and pick this person. And everything that mostly everything that she asked God for, this is what she got from Richard, even though she never saw him as relationship material. He always liked her. He, he was mesmer, mesmerized by her from the first time that he saw her at his sister's home because Tina knows was um, good friends with Richard's sister. And this was years ago. But at the time, you know, she was married. He was married. But I guess he never forgot her. So she he always held her in high regard. But she never saw him, I guess she was never attracted to him. And this is all, this, relationships that begin like this never tend to end well when you were not initially attracted to the person. And then the person, I guess, has to convince you or maybe if you, if you see you don't have any other options, then you just go with this person. But if you were not initially attracted to the person, those relationships never tend to um, and well, and when we look at the biblical story of Esther, when she, you know, was in the running to be queen, there was a pre preparation, you know, yes, she prayed, but she also prepared. They did different preparations. We, yes, in this time, we're not going to do the same thing, you know, 100% what Esther did, but she did prepare. And also she she adhered to the advice and the wisdom of her uncle Mordecai when he would give her certain things, you know, what to do. And plus, um, not only Mordecai, it was the one who took care of all the girls. Then the person would say, Hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. She listened and actually applied. And this is how she got, you know, she was chosen to be queen. And then even though she was supposed to be eliminated because a person from her background and from her culture was not ever supposed to be queen, but the fact that she, you know, applied the wisdom that she received, and then of course she prayed, she continued and held on to her position as queen and wife. So now Miss Knowles has found herself back in divorce court, and I cannot say that I am shocked. Because most of the time, when you have a person that is a woman that is successful as she is, because she has, you know, built an empire for herself and also for her children, you know, she started them off. Most of the time, they 
most of these women do not know how to balance bringing in money and also respecting their you know partner or husband they don't know how to let the man lead because you know they are in this boss i'm in charge position most of, most women do not know how to take off that hat and let the man lead and and sometimes it's not that they even want the man to lead they just want a man because you know it's God said that it's not good for man to be alone. That's the man or the woman. So they tend to go and look for men that they can dominate, you know, that they can control. You know, we look good together, but I'm in charge because I'm used to being in charge. I'm not going to give my authority to anybody. You just be here. Um, just as my husband, you know, the the model will be the model will be the face will be the example but what you are supposed to be my husband the leader whatever we supposed to admit submit one to another we're not going to do that period and so this time around i'm trying to be a wife first not all the time because it's not always possible and sometimes i am a mother first no, ma'am, you're supposed to be a wife first, and then you are a mother. And this is coming from a woman that has older children. But even if she had smaller kids, you would still need your husband to help you to raise those kids because um, a child needs a father and a mother that is on the same page to raise them in a healthy manner. Because the father and the mother, they both have different things that they contribute to the healthy upbringing of this child. But you are a, oh, and then she says she's trying to be a wife. And this is her second marriage. That was her second marriage at the time. So was she more doing motherly duties instead of wife duties? That's why maybe her first marriage ended in divorce and now her second marriage has ended in divorce and you could tell that he was so shocked was like what did i get myself into because remember he always like put her on this pedestal she was on this pedestal because she was beautiful and things like that and this is where a lot of people get caught up because you know you're so mesmerized by the person's beauty and most of the time it's by the physical features you're so mesmerized by their physical features you know their color their shape their um physique or whatever it may be the way they talk maybe what they have and then you look past that and you not you look past that you just focus on that only and then you don't look at the person character you don't look at hey if this person's mindset is the type of person that i can you know we can have longevity with he didn't know that hey she didn't know how to be a wife. She was more, she was more, you know, able to be a mother. She's good at that, but a wife, not so. So certain stuff is best, is good to know. So you can know that, Hey, you shouldn't expect wifely things from her. She's going to focus more on the kids, but most of the time we so caught up in the physical features and sometimes the money we do not look at the the actual person before you. You have to look at who is this person? What type of person are they? You know, who am I? Is this person, are we compatible? Not we complete each other. Do we complement each other? You know, where I may be lacking in some area, they are strong. And even when they are strong, you know, they don't put me down. They don't say, look at you and stuff like that. We help each other. But people don't do stuff like this. Pray for the type of man I wanted. And I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love. And we're having a really good time. And I'm enjoying life. So there is hope. When so that was the clip that went viral, I think, like two years ago, maybe a year and a half. And where, you know, he was like, he's not perfect. And then he asked... I'm not. And then she's like, no, you're not. And <laughs> that made him think like, what did I, what did I get myself into? That really made him think, what did he get himself into? Oh my goodness.
nobody's perfect nobody's perfect of course you're never gonna get you know if you have a list you're not gonna get everything on your list some people you know it takes time a lot of time and a lot of patience before they actually are the person that you prayed for they're not gonna automatically come that way because we're dealing with humans and humans are imperfect but sometimes I guess people forget that and you are supposed to come already you know ready to go perfect no flaws or anything like that ready to go it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that. the person may be you know ready in a certain aspect in their life but not all of it they may have in one area everything is perfect but in another area they need help they need you to be patient they need you to probably guide them or teach them or you know or let them figure it out for themselves and also what she did um, embarrassed him that was basically embarrassing him in front of people that they don't actually know because you can tell that he was hurt he was hurt and imagine if she did this in front of people you know they that don't know them what does she do with people they are comfortable with and when things like this happen i don't really think that it's just because you know she's a boss chick or whatever i think it's because many of us were not really taught how to keep healthy relationships what to do and in, in, so we could keep our relationships we have people that teach us how to run game you know how to play how not to get played but to actually be get into a relationship and to keep it you know how we how do we work together to keep this relationship not many people are taught this so when things like this happen you know and then say you know what what you said really hurt me what you did really hurt me or whatever. I don't like when you keep stuff from always me. You know, certain people get defensive. It could be the woman or the man. They get defensive or they, they're like, oh, well, defensive in the sense that it was not that serious. Um, I didn't mean it that way. Or they was like, okay, and then walk off. Don't even address, you know, what you're telling them that hurt you. And most of the time when this happened, when you are not able to communicate with each other. So people just check out. People don't care anymore. And this may manifest in a sense that they start cheating. They start cheating. They start becoming complacent. They start doing, they start give, stop giving any effort. And then this starts to deteriorate the relationship until somebody gets tired and file for divorce if they're married or just leaves the relationship or some people just keep on you know holding on holding on for the image alone and it's very unfortunate many relationships end in that sense because we don't really know what to do in relationships and then we don't seek to know what to do in relationships then when then when it doesn't work out then we find ourselves questioning god then we find ourselves, oh, um, guys are no good, they ain't, they ain't ish, men are no good, women are ain't no good, they ain't loyal, nobody loyal or whatever. But then we need to look at ourselves too. Were we even prepared for the, this relationship? What work did we put in so that this relationship could have longevity? We sometimes have to ask ourselves that before you go and believe, it was him, it was this, it was that. Okay, what you did? It's very unfortunate that this relationship had to end this way in divorce because, you know, many people were saying, you know, this, she was hope. She was, they was using her as hope again. Oh, I could, I could keep hope alive because she found love. They were, you know, the power couple black love model and whatever and then this happens that's them some things you have to take as a cautionary tale since some certain stuff in aspects in their relationship was public and do better and do different but don't take 
you know, a failure that happened in somebody else relationship and think, oh, well, that's probably going to happen to me. I don't need to look. I don't need to do anything because it always ends like this. Whoa, whoa is any relationship that I get in or potential relationship that I get in. I don't understand why people do that, but whatever. So many things to take from this relationship. Never go with somebody you are not initially attracted with. Because most of the time, if you're not willing to put in the work or whatever, those tend not to end well. And then don't be so mesmerized by somebody's beauty and um, physical features or their color, or their money. You look past who that person truly is. And then when you want to get into relationships or you want your relationship to last, surround yourself with people that have, you know, are in a relationship and it has lasted. It may not be perfect, but it has lasted. Listen to their advice and apply it where need be because not you can't take everybody, you know, advice and certain advice may not apply to your relationship. There probably some other you know, stuff, but I don't want this video to be too long. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one. Bye.